Hi, okay, so welcome aboard here to another um, tutorial on dot painting. So today we're going to do this one here, which is a really, really cool pattern. Now, one thing I wanted to show you about this here is when you have your, you have your colored version here, which is what you're going to uh, use as your uh, sample pattern, which also, you know, you can uh, use, by the way, for scrapbooking. You know, you can cut it out and resin it and use it for whatever you want. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you something here. If you click on this little um, magic wand, if you want to change the colors, hit on this hue and saturation, and um, you can just change it. Like if you wanted to make it green, you want to see what it looks like green. Isn't this cool? Okay, so hit on your the hue saturation and just play around. You can do it in purples. You could do it in blues. You know, you could do it in whatever kind of colors you want. You don't have to stick with that with that color scheme. You can kind of mess around and do it in in whatever kind of color suits your fancy <laughs> okay so this is the coolest this is the coolest freaking thing i'm just saying it is just so much fun i'm just like totally obsessed and totally addicted because the the it's just endless it's just endless possibilities okay so just kind of play around with it and choose whatever um whatever you like and then if you want to switch your palette just use your finger and then um like if this is the color you like just select that and then just select your palette like this like you'd select that go to your palette create a new palette like this and then select your colors like from here and then start selecting your colors so like if these are the colors you'd want and you would just go like this let's just say i mean i'm just doing this really fast but i think that you kind of get it by now you would just select this and you would create your own palette using these colors okay that's already on here and then if you want you can print this out and use this as your resource as your as your um color guide to build your um palette okay so i'm going to go ahead and just delete these so i'm just going to i'm just kind of showing you how easy it is to make your own palette okay so that was just a little uh, fyi information okay so i'm going to go ahead and just delete all this information and go back to revert to this color because this is the color that's in our sample okay so let's go uh, back here to our uh, handy dandy gallery and grab our um, black and white template now using our um, uh, template as a guide I mean as your color reference as a guide always start with the middle it's the easiest way just start start with the middle and grab your dots 10 palette and start with the darkest color and just enlarge it here okay and what we're going to do is um we're going to start with your middle middle dot so enlarge um grab your um dot pattern and first of all um with this actually with this one here you're gonna have to set your drawing guide so let's do that first let's go here and let's go to your background color set your background color to black okay and then go ahead and set your drawing guide so go into your canvas um, set your drawing guide go in here just like normal set your symmetry make sure all these three are checked your radial your assisted and all these three just make sure they're all checked and then hit done okay now when you go up here into your guides um, after you hit done go up onto your layer where your um, pattern is and just make sure that it is centered um, according to where your guide is, because otherwise, when you draw on it, it's going to be it's going to be kind of screwed up, and it won't and it won't match it. So if you want to use the drawing assist on your um, on your um, template, um, you need to center. See how I'm moving this around? Take your template and center it as best as you can on on the line here. Okay, and then if you want it to be really precise, you could just tap it and it'll go a little bit this way, tap it this way, tap it this way, and just tap it and it will, you know, instead of using your finger, because your finger can be a little bit not as precise, and you can just tap it till you get it almost exactly, so that this line here is going straight up that way and the, you know, the middle is in the middle, and just try to get it so that it's pretty close to the template. And if it doesn't work exactly, um, you can always just do it dot by dot and not use the drawing assist, but it's a lot easier if you can use the drawing assist, okay? But the trick is to just kind of get it lined up, okay? So I have it on there. 
unselect it now and make sure you are on a brand new layer and make sure that your assisted is checked, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do now is go and select your dot stamp tool and your darkest color, which I have, and we're just gonna kinda guess here uh, with your size and you're gonna stamp the middle. And remember, it's just kinda guessing at first um, with how you're gonna you know, put your first dot size in. And you just sorta play around with it. We're getting closer here. And like I say, you don't have to be exact because when you take the template off, you're not gonna see the template, but it's just, you know, you're just using that as a guide. So you're gonna put the darkest in first. Then we're gonna go into our palette here and we're gonna go to the next to the next ring, which is this color here. I think you can see it on my screen, which color I'm tapping. You're going down and you're gonna grab the next color and you're gonna make it a little bit smaller, okay? And you're gonna make the ring a little bit smaller and you can make it as bigger or smaller, you know, depending on however you your desires are, okay? And make it a little bit smaller, okay? And take the next color that's in the palette and it's, it's just going lighter and lighter and lighter every single time and it's going smaller and smaller and smaller each time so every time you do it you're taking a lighter color and each time you're making it also a little smaller so it's creating a graduated um, ring effect in the middle okay so there you've got your little ring in the middle and you're gonna need to grab your um, uh, yellow and put your yellow in the middle okay now we got your little section going there okay now let's grab our palette going here and um, let's go for this little mustardy color here and it's kind of a yellow mustardy color and now there's a couple different things you can do you can grab your dot brush your dot brush number one and kind of see what size you got going here. Kind of grab a little size that is kind of close to how you want your little dots. Okay, that's pretty good. And then what you're gonna do is you can take your dot brush and just kind of draw it around like that. But as you can see, if you can see it up close, it's not that, it's not precise, okay? But I mean, you can you can do it if you, if you wanna be kind of lazy about it. You can do it like that if you'd like. And you can also, by the way, just say so you no, know, you can adjust that the spacing of this brush. If you notice, see how the spacing here um, is kind of this this far apart? If you change this, this is at 65%. If you see how I'm making that spacing closer together, see now those dots are closer together. I switch it to 56%. So now if I go in here and I go like this, now you can see that they're almost exactly alike. You see that, how that's almost exact, exactly? That was 56%. So you can see that you can get pretty close by just adjusting the um, spacing on that dot brush right there. Okay, so that's a really good little tidbit of information. So that was at 65%. Now you can see how by me just adjusting that, um, the spacing on that, that adjusts the spacing between your dots, okay? That is really good information, so keep that in your back pocket for information. So because that was pretty close, I'm, I mean, I guess I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm kind of a stickler. So I'm going to just show you how to do it if you want to just do it the real stickler way with the actual dot painting um, method. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select a dot if my, if my computer will unfreeze. Because it's not, it's frozen here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you here how I do it if I do it the regular way. Make sure I'm on the right pattern here. Make sure it's assisted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get it really precise and I'm just gonna go through here and dot them in. I like doing it that way because it's very meditative and very, very soothing for me um, to do it that way. So it just kind of depends on your personality and your mood, I guess, and you know, what your, what your desire is, you know, like me. I'm in a mood right now to be kind of be a little bit precise. So I'm going to go back and I didn't make it perfect, you know, like that. Okay. So now we're going to go through now and let's grab um, um, one of those, that lighter kind of a creamy, creamy yellow. And then let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now that's a little bit too big. And you want to get them kind of close because to the, to the template, you know, 
If you get them too big, then they're going to all muddy together and you don't want them. You want to keep them separate. If you want to check your work, you just come over here and you just take your, turn this off and you can kind of see how it looks and you can, you can, get, you can get all excited. You're like, oh my God, it looks so good already. I can't believe it. And when you print them out, you're just going to just love yourself. <laughs> I'm so funny. I crack my own self up. Okay, so now let's go and we're going to grab uh, another with the same color, just make it a little bit bigger. Hope you guys are having fun. I know I'm a little nuts and wacky, but, you know, once you get used to me, you'll realize, yeah, she really is nuts and wacky, but you just deal with it. Okay, so then you just, okay, put those dots. In. Let's see that. See, I'm such, I'm such a picky person. That to me is still just a teeny, teeny bit too big. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. See? Just to make it perfect. There you go. Okay, so now let's make our little teeny dots here. Okay, we're going to come down here, make little teeny dots. Teeny, teeny, teeny dots. Okay, now we're going to go and let's go grab the little darker yellow to give it a little bit of a tone, some tonage. And I'm going to use the same teeny dots and put those in. And make it a little bit bigger now and grab the bigger dots and just put the bigger dots in. Hope you're doing it with me. Just follow along. Just do the same thing I'm doing. Okay? Don't get lost. It's no big deal. You can always just pause it. <clears throat> okay, oops. See, that's the great thing about this. If you mess up like I just did, you just got to keep hitting your... What did I do here? I don't know what I did. i got to undo it here. What did I, I don't know what I did. I... Did some sort of damage. Okay, so now let's see. The next color will be the darker um, yellow, and we're going to make that a little bit bigger. Mm, make it a little bit bigger. See, now I could fast forward this video, but why bother? You know, let's just do it together. I mean, you can always fast forward it if you want to. I'm not going to go through all that editing deal. Forget it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to color and do my thing. If you guys want to fast forward it, fast forward it. Okay, so now we've got that going there. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is, if you notice, see how that isn't perfect? How that's just still a little bit too big? And I know it could be annoying, but you know what? You're probably going to have the same problem with yours too, because if I'm having this problem, I'm sure you are too. Just get your dots perfect on there. Okay, and then get your dots small enough so that they don't all muddy together. And then put them in, in there so that they're all nice. You know, and you don't need to hurry. Just do a good job, you know. You want it, if you're going to do something, do it right, you know. Try to do your best at something. Don't You don't need to rush and you don't need to, you know, just the whole point is to, just to take your time and have fun, and, but do a good job, you know. All right, so let's put in these two little yellows. Okay, and then let's do these cute little babies here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those are cute little guys. Okay, now let's put in, um, that's too small. That's pretty close, but it's not exactly even. There we go. And then now let's make it a little smaller. As you do more of these, you'll realize it's pretty easy to start gazing, you know, gauging um, the sizes of them. You just get kind of used to it after a while. But having these patterns is really easy. The patterns are good, too, when you print them out. You can practice it with real paint, too. Um, it's a good way to practice, you know, your paper, and you can always use it for something. Okay, let's grab one of the... Um, the orangey color here. Let's see which orange is that. The brighter orange. Okay. And we're going to grab that's too small. But as you can see, there's a lot of trial and error with the, um, you know, making sure you have the right size. But that's no big deal. It's part of the fun, right? All right. Well, you don't have to be as perfect as me, but... You know, I'm just weird. I like to get it all. 
I like to have them all exactly. I've always been kind of like that, where I want everything just to be all exactly perfecto. Okay, put that orange in here, and then let's put the other orange in that one, okay? All right, and then what do we need another, let's see, what's this one here would be a yellow. So let's grab a yellow. And, oh, I got that one pretty right. Ah, almost. There we go. Okay, well, we've got the yellow in. Okay. And it's, sometimes it's really fun just to come over here and just check your work because it gives you a little bit of inspiration going, wow, it's coming out really nice. Okay. So then you come back over here and then you just resume where you're at. And then you say, okay, we're over here on this section. So we got to grab our yellow while we have it. And let's put in these little dots. Wait, uh, let's see these little dots here. Yeah. Oh, these two dots over here, over here. And if you get confused, you can always just turn your layer off, your, you know, your color off so you can see where you're at. Because I, sometimes I get lost too, and then just wonder where I'm at. Okay, so now we're going to be on the dark, the dark red. Okay. And on the dark red, we're going to, oh, that was, I got really See, I gauged that one pretty good. Now you're going to start walking the dots down. Now when you walk the dots down, um, do each side the same. So do this side, this side here, and then do the that side there, because the sides are the same. That side, and then that side. Okay, and then, and then make it a little smaller. And then fit them in there. And then make it a little smaller. I'm making it a little smaller only because I think that that's still just a little bit too big. And then I can just fit that one in there, fit that one in there. Because you can see, even though it doesn't look, you can make, maybe make it a little smaller. Even though you can see I'm kind of off on my template here, if I turn it off, you can see in, in the actual picture itself, it's perfect. Okay, so just, you know, like I say, you don't have to worry about being totally, totally perfect on the thing. But just close enough. Close enough for government work, right? Okay, so now let's grab a, um, a maybe this red here. I hope you can see which one I'm doing. I'm not doing the red that's next to it. I'm doing the this red, the red that's next to the bright red. And I'm just going to, or whichever color you pick. I mean, you can pick whatever color you want. I mean, you don't even have to use these colors, obviously. You can use whatever colors your little heart desires. But your pattern's here, okay? And the, and the technique is going to be the same, where you're going across in a methodical way. See how I'm doing each side the same? And going across, and I'm not changing the size here because those are about the same. See, those are all about the same dots. Okay, and then I'm going to go now grab the bright red this time. And I'm going to, and that looks about, yeah, that looks like I don't even have to change it. It looks about the same. These all look like about the same dots. That's pretty simple. For such a picture that looks so bitchin', a oh, bitchin', <laughs> does people still even use that word? <laughs> I mean, it looks so good when it's done, you know. Okay, we're going to have to come over here and do the same thing over here. See, and now you're going to have to come over here and copy it because the drawing assist didn't quite, it didn't go on all the, in all the sections, so we have to go back and do these. So that's okay, you just go back over them and put your colors in, same way, just... Drop them in. Oops. A little bit over on that one. And just put, pop in your colors over here. Sometimes on that drawing assist, it won't go on all around on all of them. So you have to 
you're going to have to go back in and do like the, you know, these ones here. Just to give you an idea of how obsessed I am, it's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, I just can't get enough of these. There's just so much fun. I just get a couple hours rest, and then I wake up, and I'm right back at it. I mean, I'm I'm all quarantined, so there's nothing else to do, right? Lucky for you guys, because gonna, you're going to have lots of cool patterns. Okay, there we go. Okay, look at that. It's just darling. Okay, so now let's see. I gotta look at my pattern. So just give me a minute. Sorry, but I gotta look at my. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta put in a. Looks like a red one or an orange one. You can use whatever color you want, but I guess I'll just grab this one right here, this red one. And I'll put the red one here. It's too small. So let's put the red one in here. And then I'm going to grab a yellow one. And I'm going to grab the lighter yellow one, give it a little brightness to it. And I'm going to put them in here. It's a little bit big, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to make it a little smaller now. And then get a little dinky one. And, you know, if you need some, just make it bigger. If you have bad eyes like me. That's what's so great about this Procreate app. If you need to, you just you make it bigger, right? Okay, now let's grab a um, orange. And let's do these little guys. Just try to get it right on there. Make a little smidge bitter. Just nudge it up ever so slightly. Just try to aim for the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to put a yellow in the middle. And I'm going to make it kind of smaller here. Just kind of aim for the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take that lighter yellow. Grab this, this, this lighter yellow here. It's on this far left side. And then make it a little smaller. And like I said, that's the size that you pick, obviously, totally up to you. Okay, grab just grab a white for a nice little highlight. Put a nice highlight in the middle. You can do highlights on every one of these if you want to. I didn't put them on here, but you can put highlights on every single one of them if you'd like. Obviously, you can get as detailed as you'd want with them. Okay, now let's grab the, um, this is kind of the second one from the left, the little mustardy colored one. And again, um, with the, I didn't even have to change the dot size. I just used the same dots as I did for the white highlight in the middle. And I'm just going around here, did my little border, and I'm going to just put a little dot here. Okay, now we've got to get a this color here, this one here, if, if you can see, it's the one above the white, and let's make it kind of smaller and get in here. And put your dots in like that. And then, oops, that one's too big. Okay, now I went off a little bit, but again, you know, when you take them off, you can see it's, it looks beautiful the way it is. So, you know, again, don't worry about if you're not exactly perfect, because in the end, it all comes out in the wash. All right, so finish your little beautiful little babies. Okay, so we got those ones done. Now we need to put in um, another, this is another mustardy color ishy thingy here. And we're going to put these here. 
Ooh, that's not good. Is that, that doesn't look like the right color. Uh, I need more of a yellowy color. Wow, I hope I put it in your book for you guys. I think I did. It's this color. I'm going to have to... Uh, that's all right. I gave it to you. I it's it'll be in your palette. It wasn't in this one, but it'll be it'll be in there. Just grab that one there. You can see it. It's right here. It's gonna be next to your black. Okay. So just uh, there you go. Just pop those babies in there. I'm gonna come up with some really cool designs maybe some um i'm gonna come up with some cool brushes maybe ones that look like diamonds or jewels maybe some that'll be like gems or something i don't know who knows what i come up with um, i come up with some re really weird wacky stuff sometimes so who knows so stay tuned because you never know what mama's gonna come up with all right so let's see we did those ones uh so now we're we need to do um some more of those colors um, and make these a little smaller. Uh, my air conditioner went on. Ugh, it's been so hot. It's in Arizona. And it has been hot here. Even at night it's hot. So it feels good with the air on right now. Okay, and I'm going to just put little dots here. Okay, and then um, let's see, we've got yellow, um, and if you lose track, it's not like the end of the world. Um, those are the yellow ones, yellow ones, my thing is too small here, hold on, those might, maybe those should have, these should have been orange, yeah, those should have been orange, but that's okay. We'll just make them orange right now. It's easy enough. So let's just grab this here. And that's what's great about it. You make a mistake, it's no big deal to fix it. Okay, so there's orange ones. I strung them all together there. And that's okay. I mean, I, I had these, this color, but that's all right. I'm just going to make it a little smaller, and then I'm just going to put little dots in the yellow. Whatever, I made it work. All right, let me just check it out. Yeah, see, it works. It's fine. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? Look at that. That looks gorgeous to me. I'm, like, obsessed. That is so beautiful to me. I'm like, ah, I got all warm and fuzzy. Isn't that crazy? I get so, <laughs> I'm so easy to please. Okay. So now let's go and grab um, another color here and let's put in our little border here, our little pearl border. And like I say, you can always use your little dot brush and just go all the way around and cheat. But I like doing it like this. The dots are going to come in handy because I did a painting where I drew like palm trees and I drew... Um, yeah, water and I do waves and stuff like that. And though that's going to be really cool. I'll do a tutorial for you on one of those coming up. So just stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video, okay? And then also, too, um, just know that I have a Patreon page, too. And I put lots of freebie stuff on there. So make sure you sign up with that. Okay, I'm going to put a red one in here for this ball here. So this one's going to be... A Patreon is where you just kind of, it's like kind of you support me as an artist so I can continue doing these, these, pay, these stuff. Um, it's five bucks a month, but you get all kinds of free stuff. I mean, I have my artwork. I have coloring pages. I have all kinds of stuff. Um, I put, I'll put, I'll put the, some of these up there for you for free. I'll have all kinds of stuff. And if you use enough of these, it's worth it, you know. If you like, if, if you like me. Okay, now let's put these dots in here. Oh, also, follow me on Instagram, too, because I post a lot of stuff on there. You don't want to miss any of my craziness. 
And believe me, I am a little wacky, so you don't want to miss my fun. I'll post my cats, maybe when I'm eating, what I'm cooking, my, who knows. I forgot some dots here, so I'm put, posting some of those. Okay, let's do um, orange. Isn't this fun? I hope you guys are having fun. If you guys like doing this, it's going to be a blessing to me because I'm going to come up with so many cool patterns. We could do this all the time together. It'll be so fun. Maybe we could do a live one too. Oh, I don't know if I can. I can't do a live when I'm doing these though. I don't think. But that's okay. I read all your comments too. So be sure you write lots of stuff because I will read them. Believe me, I wait for the comments. I will be reading them for sure. Okay, so now, okay, now here is where I had a little bit of fun when I was coming up with this. Okay, so now, if you see here, this is a graduated. See how it goes dark, light, light, and it goes all the way down to the light. You see here where the color palette's dark red, and it goes all the way down in graduated colors. If you go into the classic, you could see how it goes, you know, you're having all these colors, how they're all, you know, how you could pick. when. And if you want to make your own, you do the same way when you're graduating colors, just grab one color then another color then another color lighter 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 and that's how you get that graduated um color okay so for right now what we're gonna do is let's start with the um this darker color right here and we're gonna go right here and try to get it right on it like here Okay, so now you've got that one going. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and grab the next color. That wasn't the dark one. I made a mistake because that wasn't the dark one. Grab the darkest one. You want the darkest one first, which is this one right here. Okay, grab the darkest one then you can grab a lighter one. You want it to graduate in color so that it goes, you know, the gradient that I, I was showing you. We like the gradient look, it, it's very soothing. And you wanna try to get these dots so that they're, they're right. one might be a little bit too big if you if you're not sure just check it and you can see that they're okay see you could you can always just check your dots if you're not sure just unhook it and check it but doesn't that does that look great so far check yours and you'll be really excited it's beautiful isn't it hope you're excited as me okay then let's go it's like the unveiling <laughs> okay now take it make it smaller and then while you have the color out and then let, do your do your little connecting strands. You can do them at the end or at the beginning. I mean, whatever you prefer. Um, when I when I originally drew it, I did it at the end. I went back and did the small ones at the end. So it just depends on whatever your, your mood is here. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the next lighter color. And then just kind of try to get it again to where you. Okay. And then, like I say, you can do it now or you can do it. Um, just, just do it at the end because that way you don't have to keep changing your brush. So then go here into your neck, into your palette color and then go into your next color and do it go into your next lighter color okay now go into your next lighter color you just count eight because there are eight dots eight of them and go into your next lighter color. Uh, 
um, you notice I didn't have to change my brush. So that's why I did my dots at the end because all of those were the same size brush. So, you know, now if you want, you can do your little ones if you want to go back in and do the little dots. There's eight of them. So then just go in here, pick your color, and then you can just uh, go through these. Four. <laughs> I guess there's only four in there. And then just one, two. See, one, and then you don't have to change your brush. If you do all the dots, all you have to do is just change the uh, color. So you just grab the color and then just change the color. One, two, three, four. So I just did one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then it just goes, goes by really easy if you do it like that. Okay. Okay, now after we went, let's see. So you count you count the rows. We did one, two, three, four, five, six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. So I think do we have the do we have another one? Let's see. No, we got we got looks like we got another row here. I kind of lose track of my rows here. Uh, did we we didn't do that color yet? I don't think. And if you mess up, like I say, if you get lost, it's not the end of the world. You, can, you won't even know. Okay, and then grab the lightest one now. Okay, and now we're going to go back and move to the opposite way now. So now we're going to move, but let's skip one, like maybe go over, maybe grab this one. Skip one if you want. Or however, just pick a color, whichever one you want to pick. Doesn't matter, I kind of just picked that one just to graduate the colors back from that way, from the darker back to the lighter now, or back to the darker So we went from dark to light. Now we're going from light, and now we're going to transition back to the dark. And if you mess up and you have to do two rows of the same color, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to grab the darkest one now here. Let's see. Or maybe the second one, darkest to the one. Seven, eight. And then grab the darkest one. Okay. Then we can go back in here, and of course we can just put in all your little small beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. Then just use your finger and then go back and do eight more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the next row, change the color. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then change the color again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> See, I, I don't even go exactly the way I, in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight there's eight so like puts you all the way across one two three four five six seven eight okay and then let's do another one okay so here's the last one the last row one two three four five six seven eight beads 
Okay? All right. So now we've got our little picture here. You want to take a look at it so you get all excited and you can look at your handiwork. You can stop right there if you want and frame it and jump around and look at your beautiful picture. <laughs> but we're not. We're going to continue. So let's come over here and let's see what I did here. I think I just erased all my beautiful work. Did I? I don't know what I did. No. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add some orange. So we'll come over to our palette, grab some orange. And this is a good, nice contrasting color too. It adds, it breaks up the, the line of that color we just put in. Okay. And you might want to, I'm just going to put the little dots in the beads in now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then now we're gonna put in some of the yellow. So grab the yellow. And try to get it to the right size. And pop in your beautiful little beads. Beautiful beads, beautiful beads. Make it smaller, put in your little beads. five, six, seven, eight. That was for the little beads. Okay, now let's put in the top beads that are above it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got put in the top beads. Let's do the middle string beads. So you put those be these ones in here, the little strings, and we got those. Okay, so now we did the yellows. Now let's do a row of the reds here. Okay, these are going to be some reds. Okay. For some reason, my um my copy is cut off, so I don't know what color I, I did. The I don't know what, uh, oh, I can use this one, hold on. I can't see my, uh, my original copy, so I can't, uh, I wanna make sure I got the same one you have. Um, that's pretty close, I guess, okay. So let's do the little beads, okay? So just do color your little beads here. Your string, string them put the mural strings on. I know you can't see my hand. You can only see the dots being colored. It's probably, it could be a little frustrating because you don't see my actual hand drawing, but you kind of get what I'm doing. Okay, let's do the, now let's do the next row. And then same thing, just put the string across. It goes by fast, huh? I mean, they don't, it's not that hard to do when you get used to them. Well, the pattern makes it easier too. Having this pattern is really helpful, huh? Okay, now let's get the dark, the darkest one here and make it bigger here. Try to get a size that's kind of close here. Maybe just a smidge bigger. I'm a little off there, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're just gonna do these all the same, all the way across. Just follow your beads. This one's a little tricky over here. When you get over here, just get the best you can on the corners. All right, and then make them small. Get your little small beads going. And if it helps you, you can always turn your, your layer off if you wanted to.
see, because I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. I'm putting in the little beads. So just go in and fill in all the little beads, all the little connecting beads for, the, for that part, and you'll be all done. Okay, I'm just putting in the little beads, and then we'll look at it. Okay. So the funnest part is the unveiling. Let's unveil it. And there it is. Okay, then you're going to take and you turn your all your turn everything off and you're ready to go. So you will come here and then you just hit your share button and then you just I send it in a mail, just send it to myself or in this case I send it to my daughter's email and uh, it's successful. Now you can also don't forget you can watch your little time lapse video of it, which is really fun. You can see the whole process of how of how you actually colored it. And then you could post it on your um, Facebook or your Instagram or, or whatever. Um, but it shows the whole process of, of how you colored it and how, how it actually builds up. And it does it in a time lapse, which is a really, really cool feature of this thing. But doesn't that doesn't it look cool? So the whole entire, I don't know how long it took, a half an hour or an hour to, to, to do this entire whole drawing. Um, and it look at how pretty. Just enjoy it. Isn't that pretty? And, you're, and you did the same thing. Yours is looking just like that too. And so anyway, you get the idea. But it's just all, look at that. Look how it just comes alive. Isn't that cool? Yep, you did that. You did that. Just enjoy it. it that's so fun, isn't it? Okay, so um, then you just hit done. Okay, now, um, also, if you wanted to play around, don't forget. Now, go into your gallery here. Before you play around with it, go into your gallery and hit select, okay, and then just duplicate it. That way you don't mess it up, okay? Now you have an exact duplicate of it, and then hit your X button just to make sure you're out of everything. Just to give you a little teaser. Look at the one I'm going to be doing for you next time. This some I this this is a someone else uh, has I'm using this for inspiration so I'm going to be changing that up those aren't those are my colors though those are not the other person's colors but that's someone else's design but I'm I changed it all up so um for you guys so anyway so what we're gonna do here is um I want to show you something here so if you wanted for fun you can grab this little wand button. Go into the hue and saturation, and remember, you can look at, you can see what it looks like. You can change it to any of these colors that you want. Isn't that awesome? So your drawing now is in all these different ways. So if you post it, you could post it. Say, look, here's here's what it looks like in this color, this color. If you want to make pendants, you can make a pendant or like a tile or coasters. You can have a co like a six set coaster set, and you can switch these and make them into four by four coasters. Print them out onto paper. I use um, thick, and, thick and gloss resin, which is really thick resin, and um, cover it in resin and put it on a, like on a, a, cork, a cork coaster board, and you make little coasters out of them, which is really fun. Um, or if you make a print, you know, you could just turn them into a nice 12 by 12 canvas print. Um, and however, but you can make different ones and you can make a whole set of them and put them up on your wall. Um, and remember you can, you can, you could put these up on, um, you know, at, on, at, um, Etsy or you can put them on, um, you know, wherever you can just sell them. You can do whatever you want there. When, once you color them, that's fine, but you cannot put my black and white template anywhere. Don't post those anywhere. Okay. That's not allowed. Okay, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you had fun, and um, I'll see you uh, on the next one. Okay, ciao for now.